Northumberland Street connects the railway station to the New Health Innovation Campus at Southgate and from there to Leeds Road and the stadium. In our proposals, there's a new speed limit of 20 miles per hour. And the width of the road is reduced. The pavement is widened. And trees are planted with sustainable drainage along the south side to create a boulevard. Raised junctions make it easier for people to walk across Northumberland Street and the side streets. Byram Street changes to one-way southbound for vehicles. There's new planting and seating and a raised zebra crossing on Northumberland Street at the entrance to the market. Disabled parking and loading facilities are provided nearby. Wood Street becomes one-way southbound for vehicles. A raised junction where Northumberland Street enters John Williams Street makes it easier for people to walk across to St George's Square and the station. John Williams Street connects the station and the square with the market at Brook Street. In our proposals, the road is narrowed both sides of the street have wider pavements, landscaping and sustainable drainage to create a tree-lined boulevard. There are new loading bays at the side of the George Hotel and on the other side near the bars and restaurants where disabled parking is also provided. A raised zebra crossing makes it easier for people to walk across John Williams Street to reach the market. On-street parking is removed from here. A two-way segregated cycle track runs along the east side of the street between Brook Street and the railway bridge. The bus shelter on the west side is repositioned away from the wall, making it easier for people to walk around. A zebra crossing is also provided at the end of Viaduct Street, which becomes one way for vehicles between Fitzwilliam Street and John William Street. On-street parking is retained on the opposite side of the main street. St John's Road runs from Fitzwilliam Street and across the Ring Road at Castlegate, connecting with Cambridge Road Car Park and Oxford Street to the National Cycle Network at Beck Road. In our proposals, the new two-way segregated cycle track in John William Street continues along the side of St John's Road to the junction with Castlegate. The two outbound lanes for vehicles are reduced to one approaching the slip road. Vehicles travelling from Castlegate towards the town centre use a new signal-controlled right turn lane along the slip road. These changes to the roads means the refuge island can be widened for people walking across the Castlegate. The left turn for vehicles travelling from Castlegate towards Birkby is segregated and the pedestrian crossing becomes shorter and more direct. On the opposite side of St John's Road, the cycle track continues to a new two-way crossing of Castlegate. The cycle track runs along the side of Oxford Street and switches to the other side as it approaches Beck Road, where it joins the cycle lanes through the retail and industrial parks. Back in St John's Road, the bus stop for services towards Birkby is moved away from the Beck Road junction to improve road safety. Trinity Street connects the town's rail and bus stations to the Trinity One development site, Greenhead College and Greenhead Park. In our proposals, new shared spaces for walking and cycling connect to a two-way cycle track. 
This runs alongside the pavement next to the Catholic Centre and Baptist Church to new cycle and pedestrian crossings off the Ring Road at Castlegate. People walking can continue ahead on a new crossing of the slip road to Trinity One or across Trinity Street to reach the other side. Cyclists also cross here on a separate crossing. Here the cycle track continues alongside the pavement and a new crossing at the end of the second slip road where there's also a new zebra crossing for pedestrians. Back at the main junction, one vehicle lane is removed from the ring road going north so that pedestrians cross a shorter distance to reach the other side on their way to Greenhead Road and onto the college or the park. <laughs>